Hey future scientists, come with me to tour the Smithsonian's Air and Space Museum in Washington, D.C. The first level was full of planes and jet engines. This area is known as America by Air. The jet engine completely changed air travel. It created faster travel and more affordable plane tickets. We're going to move into the history of planes, and we can't talk about that without mentioning the Wright brothers. They were bicycle mechanics with little formal scientific training. They were able to solve a problem that many famous scientists couldn't. How to make something that's heavier than air fly. The Wright brothers are known for inventing a successful airplane. We continue walking through unique flying machines, and this one really caught my eye. In 1982, Larry Walters attached 42 helium-filled balloons to a lawn chair. He reached 16,000 feet above the ground. He used BB guns to pop the balloons and get back on the ground. There were so many planes. There was even an area that you could walk up to the plane's cockpit and look around. The museum is constantly changing. When we visited years ago, there was a replica space shuttle we could actually walk through. The second floor was dedicated totally to space exploration. There were satellites and moon rocks to explore, as well as a lunar roving vehicle, or dune buggy taken to the moon. See that gold thing right there? That was the first moon-based observatory for the Apollo 16 spacecraft. It was invented by space engineer and physicist Dr. George Robert Carruthers. That was in 1972. In current times, we see Alessia Winsley, a guidance, navigation, and control engineer at NASA Space Center in Florida. She's participating in an Artemis One simulation. These are recovered engine parts from the spacecraft Apollo 11. These are engine parts. Um... This is the command module for Apollo 11. The command module is where the astronauts would sit. These are rocket engines, and they're used during liftoff. You can get an idea of how big these are by looking at the man beside them. My last stop was in this room that showed how satellites are used to track or monitor different things that happen on Earth. This image shows animal migration paths of cheetahs, blue wildebeests, and lesser flamingos. And finally, what would a trip be without stopping in the gift shop? I hope you all had fun walking through the Smithsonian with me today. What was your favorite thing to see? Comment below. As always, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.